So, Perk, let's play a little what if. What if Carmelo had went to the Pistons? He didn't have two rings. Mm. I, I, it's no doubt in my mind. I think when you look at, you know, uh, the, the culture that Detroit had before Melo was drafted in 2003, and if they would have took him with the number two pick, they would have won it that year, and I thought they would have repeated. And then all of a sudden, you got a young guy that has been around a great group of vets like Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton, Tayshaun Prince, Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace, Lindsey Hunter, guys that are the pros pros to teach them how to be a true professional we, everyone's no everyone knew how talented carmelo was i mean he was just coming off a national championship with syracuse and now because we all have to remember with that detroit team they had like a four or five year run where they were actually a top seed in the eastern conference and a top team in the nba so at some point Chauncey them could have turned hand the keys over to Carmelo and and the team and that franchise would have been in good ha- in good hands mm. and look they still would have been eye candy who knows what who would have came to Detroit to play with Carmelo we might be talking about Melo as a guy that started his career with Detroit and finished his career with Detroit what do you think, Richard? I hate what if games. This is literally my least favorite because let's let's take it a little bit on the history Who lesson. Who cares? Listen, Who cares? you hush, you hush, you hush. Yeah. Your mouth. Listen, when they drafted Tayshawn Prince the year before, now I played against them in the in the conference finals the year before Carmelo got drafted. Tayshawn Prince played great. Do you know what they were lacking? They were lacking a power forward. And so what did they do? They went out and they drafted Darko, right? That they could have drafted Chris Bosch. They could have drafted a number of people, but. The person that they got at the All-Star break was who? Rasheed Wallace that year. So if we're going to play the what-if game, if they would have drafted Carmelo, maybe they don't get Rasheed Wallace. And we all know how important oh. Rasheed Wallace Oh, we want to sit here and talk about two championships for Carmelo if, if, if in the what-if game, if, if they would have drafted him. But we don't want to look at the, the subsequent things that happened after getting Rasheed Wallace at the All-Star break, which ultimately is we lost to them in seven. They went on to win a championship that, that year. So you don't know if one domino was going to lead to another one. Would he have been in a much better spot had he gone to Detroit? Yes. But let's not gloss over his Denver team. He went to a conference finals. He went to multiple postseasons. It's not like he showed up and was in a trash situation. He had an amazing career in Denver. Yeah, he didn't win a championship, but there was also other dominoes that would have fallen had he would have gone to Detroit. Well, first of all, me and Malika are not glossing over his Denver years. Mm. He the one brought it up on all the smoke, and we're just talking about it. He said that he still think about that to this day. They asked him about if he was the number two pick about going to business. We didn't come up with it, Richard. We're just piggybacking off of something that Carmelo said. Mm. So don't why be coming you, why over here yell, with why that are you sassy yelling? Why, attitude. Why, why are you so, yelling? Listen, listen. Don't come on here with that sassy attitude towards me and Malika talking about what if and what if and well, we playing the what if this game. Is what but we're we playing it because Carmelo brought it up on all the smoke. Well, you know, Perk, that Richard just can't help himself. He's got to bring some sass to it. That's just who he is. That's what he does. I remember reading in a story that our friend Howard Beck wrote that LeBron James at one point during that draft kind of turned to him and said, this is you. This is your spot. That's something that he reported. And so it's interesting, right, to kind of think about those things. But it seems like Carmelo now is sort of rolling with this persona of this this mindset of I like where I am now. I like where I'm going. This has all kind of come together at the right time. He said that in his, his press conference with the Lakers, that potentially at another point this wouldn't have been the right time so they're feeling like he's feeling like at least now is sort of the right time for those sort of dominoes to come together he's done some growing up in this league thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus